Welcome to the wrap up of the Australian Utility Championships for 2022. So we're here with Gary, um, he's organising the Australian. What, what made you decide to put it on this year? Uh, well, we've had a proud history in running trials and years and years and years ago, my mother and father were heavily involved with running the Australian three sheep trials back in the 60s and 70s. Yep. Like the actual Australian was here, held here. And then we had a bit of an absence there for a long time. And in the late 80s, we started back, we ran a competition called the Ningen Classic, which was a combination of your three sheep and your yard. And those trials became that big that we were running for four or five days, all day and half the night. Yeah, wow. And then with mum and dad getting older and a very small committee, we uh, changed to a utility trial. And we'd been alternating with Yugara having the New South Wales Championships every second year here. And then there was a bit of talk on Facebook, actually, and there was a few people saying, oh, yeah, the National Kelpie Trial's only just for Kelpies, of course, and there's good border collies out there or whatever. And our, our huge committee of three people, Angie and Dave Motley, we had a quick phone call and we quickly decided we, we could hold the Australian Championships here. Yep. As there was no other Australian Utility Championships at all. And um, we ran it by a few people and they said yes. And luckily we've had a very, very big roll up and hopefully it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. We just don't know how we're going to <laughs> run it in four days anymore. So Yeah, um, big numbers, yeah, been great. So. Yeah, very big numbers. And as you well know, we've been running till pretty late at night. Yeah, definitely. And how have your dogs gone? Yeah, I've got three in the top 15 and one in the novice final and one in the improved final, so not too bad. Yeah, awesome, well done. Uh, so Dave, can you just explain, for those that don't know, the basis of a utility trial? Oh, well, it, uh, it starts as does a three sheep trial, so we bring three or five down from a... I'm a casting peg, we run our dog out, but it's probably 150 to 200 metres, depending on the trial, and bring those sheep down as straight a line as possible. Uh, put them into a delivery square, like a, a, a 10 metre square around us, and then walk a corridor into the yards. Uh, and from there we do basically a yard, you know, section with a race and a draft. Um, draft whatever the desired draft from the judge is told, whether it's the first two, last three, or if we're working five, it might be three and two or something and then here they go into a separate pen and they go outside and so we get a random sort of assortment of sheep some trials you get your whatever you bring down you get those back it just depends on how the trial works but then we take those out we're here a nine meter corridor um, so by that I walk walk a line from from one point to the obstacle and my dog keeps them on my right side within nine metres of me on my, must be on my right side nine metres in front and behind and on the sides and through what is three obstacles here and ideally into the pen. Hmm. We're here with Dan and James Rayner. Um, what brought you guys out here this weekend? Oh, well, yeah, we come out for the weekend. Um, yeah, just to try our hand. The first time we've ever done a utility trial. We've we've done a fair few yard trials, but um, yeah, good good friends with uh, Dave Motley and, and a few of the committee out here, and yeah, just thought we'd come out and uh, support their their committee and, and have and test their hand. You know, sort of bit of bro brother rivalry. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, it's there. Like James said, exactly that. Yeah, we're just uh, out here to yeah, just try something new. Like it just seems like a bit of fun. So we're here with Bree Cudmore. Uh, Bree, how's the weekend going for you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, one of my dogs has done all right so far, so that's good. Um, but been just enjoying the, the atmosphere and the, the people that I'm hanging out with. It's been really good. Yeah, beautiful. And what brought you up from Victoria? Uh, just to have a look at some different dogs. You know, don't get to see the dogs. Um, put some faces to some names as well, good handlers and stuff like that. And yeah, just see some new dogs that don't see around down home. We caught up with Dave Motley um, after his novice first run uh, with Motley's Joy. Uh, Dave went into the final in first place and then later also won the novice. Um, how was Joy going after your first run? Oh yeah, look, I uh, was pretty happy. Um, our, uh, our, our brake pads aren't working as they probably should be, but anyway, no, she uh, handled these sheep quite well and, and got on really well with the sheep, I guess, which probably allowed me to get away with a few little things, but uh, yeah, they're all a bit different than I'd seen the other day. Uh, we're here with Daniel Pumper, who was the judge of the novice here. Um, how did you find the judging over the week? Oh yeah, it was good fun. Um, 
even in that torrential rain on bloody Thursday, I enjoyed every minute. Good to see a lot of people get out and get involved in it. First yep. Australian, so oh, no, it was all good fun, I reckon. Beautiful. And was there any dogs that stood out to you? Oh, yeah, a couple, actually. Bloody Adrian Carpenter from West, uh, from Tasmania. He had a couple of nice ones there. And, um, yeah, a couple of your normal typical fellas, like Dave and Gary had a couple of good ones. So. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. And looking forward to the final? Yeah, finals will be tomorrow morning, so... Um, yeah, I'll be only got six dogs to judge there, not 86, so it'll be a lot better. <laughs> uh, we're here with Adrian Carper from up from Tassie. Um, how's your week gone for you? Been very good, yeah. Yeah, Been dogs running well? Yeah, surprised me, they're going yeah. <laughs> really well. Have you got any in finals? Yeah, I've got Monster in the final. Yep. Yeah, that was good. Fingers crossed for a good run? Yes. <laughs> they sheep a bit testy. Yeah, and what brought you up from Tassie? I, I'm very interested in doing utilities and, yeah, sort of like come up and try my dogs out against some better dogs. Yeah. Beautiful. So we were here with Danny Kerr and Mingle after their big win on um, yesterday at the Australian. How are you uh, feeling today after it all? Uh, it's a little bit surreal, I think is the word. Yep. Um, I never thought that um, two and a half years in or three years in of getting dogs that I'd be winning a big one like that. Um, yeah, amazing, really. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And where did, um, how did Mingle come about? Um, she was bred by a fella called Peter Govan down in Albury. Um, she got, she, so he brought over a New Zealand uh, bitch and then um, did the breeding to Trawina Zach um, yep. from down Juni Way. Um, and this was the result. Um, out of that breeding, there's, I have two of them. Mingle and Buddy. Um, Peter Govan still has one tuck. They've all won multiple trials in different um, disciplines with cattle trials, three sheep and yards. Yep. Um, so yeah. And you've had a awesome last 12 months with a second at Forbes Yard trial, third at Cowra for the Mackenzie Hazleton all round charity trial, second in the Man from Snowy River cattle trial, um, first in the Encouraged Three Sheep at Bungendore, second in the Gundagai Cattle Trial. She's really proving to be an all-round dog. She absolutely is an all-rounder, which is exactly what I love trying to do. All, all trials, all um, stock. Um, so to have a bitch like she is, um, is pretty awesome. Yeah. She's already, I've had one litter out of her and the breeding was um, Princess Timmy, who uh, um, no one needs to be talked about <laughs> Princess Timmy, he's a legend and, and a, again an all round stock dog that's proven to be an all rounder. Yeah, <laughs> got one in the back there with you. <laughs> um, have you got any ambitions with Mingle and a brother buddy um, coming up or trials you'd like to compete in? Um, I haven't got a particular trial, um, I just want to try and do everything I can when, to get to every kind of trial because um, I'm always learning. I was learning even right up until um, <laughs> the final yesterday with people giving me some advice, which is yep. pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I haven't got a particular trial. I'll just keep, keep doing what I do. Beautiful, and once again, congratulations. It's um, pretty cool to see, see you come out and do so well. Thank you.